Okay, I'm here, and this is the area where auctions are being held right now at the courthouse. Even though the auctions are now online, but sometimes there are a couple of cases that are being auctioned here in this exactly same place I'm showing you right now, in this area, okay, where there are new auctions. So literally, when I was sitting at the auction, I was sitting against the wall, okay? I, I didn't let anybody look at my data, and the reason for that is because I had data that nobody had, and I could scrap and see more information than anybody else for hundreds of properties. And right now, if you're, if you're interested to see what I was doing for the past nine years, and how I was doing it better than anybody else, uh, this is the time to jump into my computer, uh, where I'm going to show you exactly how I scrap the data live from the public records and from the clerk, uh, clerk of courts uh, courthouse. And I'm going to show you how I manipulate that data, how I automate comps, and how I go to the MLS and downloads pictures automatically, and how I go to the MLS and downloads the property informations automatically, and how I do comps automatically for each property. So I can do multiple actions on a property if I have the data, and I can automate it, and I can multiply it by hundreds or thousands if I need to. Meaning that if I'm looking on buying hundreds or tens of hundreds or millions of properties, I should be looking at the data that I'm looking at. So you should, if you're interested about understanding how to have an advantage of your competition, no matter what you do, if you are just a wholesaler, or if you're just uh, an investor or buying on the market, if you're a speculator or wanting to find a new product, if you want to find listings, if you want to create a management company, anything you are seeking in doing, this is the place to be at the courthouse. And I'm going to show you the data I was using exactly to participate at the auctions here back in 2009 that gave me advantage, huge advantages. Actually, uh, I can't even stress it enough how important it was for me to know more information than anybody else. So let's go into my computer and I'm gonna take you step by step and how I was doing it. I'm actually revealing my secrets here now. It's a secrets for nine years that I didn't tell anybody and I didn't show it to anybody. It was a trade secret sitting on my computer and the reason I'm coming out is because I wanna help people. I want you to be successful. I want you to understand what it takes to make it and not just look at other people and try to imitate them, okay? And not just chase for dreams. Okay, let's talk about reality. Let's talk about how we can create wealth today. Okay, check this out. I'm showing you my top secrets. I'm giving you everything I can so you can be successful. The least you can do is watch it and understand and try to find your niche for how to create wealth buying off-market real estate. I'm logged in to my MLS and uh, uh, the idea here is that I want to start, you know, searching those properties, right? Like everybody else, that's what they do, right? They want to see the history of those properties. So I'm going to show you the process that I perfected here. I'm going to go into the history and I'm going to choose uh, not a business opportunity. I'm going to put it on my folio over here. The only thing I need to do right now is to click OK. OK, once I click OK, everything is going to start running. Everything is going to start running, it's going to start generating comps and it's going to start generating the MLS information that I need. And it's going to be easier if I'm just going to show you. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go here. Of the MLS. So I'll show you how exactly it works. And that's going to be a little longer process. open and I'm gonna retrieve all my searches on the MLS for each property download the information that I did into my Excel spreadsheet uh, that process is gonna be a little bit longer but uh, it's everything is gonna be automated so you're not gonna even have to touch your computer um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, leave my computer computer to run and then I'm gonna show you uh, the results afterwards so the way i designed the search is to find every property its history uh, by folio and after it finds it by folio it goes to the last listings and it downloads a couple of uh, pieces of information uh, one of the information is the listing itself so give us the detail uh, the second report is going to be the pictures the last pictures that were uh, posted uh, on the mls for that specific property um, 
And the other information are the uh, comps reports that I'm also automated here. So I'm gonna start now, I need to click here. And as you can see, now what's gonna happen, it's just gonna search for those folio numbers. And look what happens. goes he opened the tabs capture the information that he needs now he's now he's generating a report an amap report uh, specifically to the categories that are already defined he's taking all of the comparables now i designed this process right now for this uh, um, educational tutorial uh, you see he's also taking the maps he's gonna go back he's gonna take the comps um, now it's, it's using the comp from the property appraiser. So I have uh, several reports of comparable generated against that property. Now look at the pictures, everything, all information you see right now, all of that is gonna appear on my spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you look at that. It's gonna take some time. Um, and at the end, I'm gonna show you on the spreadsheet itself, how it looks like, okay? I'm gonna keep it open. Uh, time now is uh, 6, 8.26. I am going to check how long did it take me to run uh, searches on 100 properties, four different searches, four or five different searches on 100 properties. How long did it take me to do that? Okay, that's what I'm gonna calculate and how much time I saved. If I would do that, if what I was looking at right now, if I was doing this manually, all this information I'm retrieving now to my Excel spreadsheet, if I was doing this manually, it would take me days. It would take me, it's, look, look at the processes, just everything is automated. This is the report that I get downloaded, you see, as a, as a, as a, as a description. Uh, this is the comps. And then it goes to the property appraiser and give me more comps. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have the, all the information that I need. I'm gonna have uh, the MLS information, uh, which is gonna give me the last realtor that was uh, uh, listing this house. So I'm just gonna give him a call, hey, what's up? What's going on with this property? And I'm gonna get all the information I need, right? It's all about due diligence, okay? Information is commodity, remember, the key point. Title and information, two things. I've been in the auction for 10 years. I bought hundreds of properties. I'm looking at two things. I'm looking at title, and I'm looking at how to perfect my processes, okay, all my processes, to overcome other people, to bid comfortably. Okay, so now I'm, 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 I'm basically, what I'm doing right now, I'm not touching anything, everything is done by itself, okay? If I had to go and open those tabs and do those reports and connect them and understand them, there's so many tracks, so many processes along the way to get to your number. Okay, so basically I just came back and uh, here's my spreadsheet. I went ahead and took a shower. It took me about 20 minutes to run this spreadsheet. And now I'm gonna show you all of the information that we saw before being extracted uh, how it's presented for me uh, on the Excel spreadsheet uh, and uh, what kind of information and what kind of value does it give me uh, as a bidder, as an investor, uh, or somebody who, who just want to know information about properties in general. I mean, right now I'm just focusing on the auction properties, but I can apply this, th those searches and those metrics uh, to any kind of due diligence that I need to do, or whatever niche it is. Right now we're talking about auctions, uh, the same token, uh, we have, uh, I have niches in uh, probates and I have niches in uh, vacancies and I have niches in uh, all kind of uh, uh, pre-foreclosures uh, and distressed uh, owners uh, problems, uh, scrapping tools that I use to generate my own leads and then I can apply the same metrics here uh, um, to get my information uh, and to make my offer accordingly. So right now in the auction, uh, this is a necessity because the, most you know, the more you know and faster you know it, the better uh, off you are. And that's the principle here. So what I'm getting here, the additional thing is, you see, 
uh, this property for example I'm gonna, once I click here I'm gonna get um, uh, the detail of the listing I'm gonna be able to see all of the information um, that uh, this is impending sale and I can see there is a broker I can click here I can email him I can ask him a question and you know that gives me the opportunity uh, if I'm interested to buy this property for example if I want to mark this property that gives me an opportunity to do an ext extremely accurate and fast due diligence uh, without needing to go through websites and so on if you like this video and you want to learn more about real estate investing and how to comfortably bid at the auction having an advantage over your competition and buying properties with real equity please be sure to subscribe I'm going to be teaching you the secrets and the trademarks that made me buy properties since 2009 where I bought over $50 million worth of properties. And everything started here in this courthouse. So be sure to subscribe and click on the description link below and I hope to see you again. If you have any questions, please make sure to mention them here below so we can talk about it. Thank you and happy investing.